Action. Are you pissed up still? Okay, so we probably need to be tilted down a little bit more even. Keep going. Stop. Is that your end frame? good. Uh, focus should be here. David is so great at conceptualizing emotional shots and tying technology together. Focus should be here. Here you have a character that's just been forcefully engaged in oral sex, but okay, focus should be here. More importantly, she now knows that this is what her future holds every time okay. she needs anything from this guardian that she has now. And it's kind of altered her life when she thought she was in a much better place. So to feel that pain and to see her isolated and alone in her apartment and come back and see the face, I just thought it was a genius shot. All right, let's go back to one. Let's see how Rooney fits into this. Here we go, back to one. Oh. Okay, let's do one last rehearsal, ready. The set was pretty cold. It was winter for us in California. Nothing like Sweden, mind you, but the, the sets were, were chilly at best, and uh, Rooney was cold, and so someone found one of those space heaters and sat it there. You can bring this in, and you can leave it right here. Yeah. Okay. It initially wasn't gonna be part of the shot, but then through the rehearsals and seeing the quality of light in her face and seeing her emotional anger. I feel more of the heat lamp than I do the eye light. So let's bring it back around. It made perfect sense, and it created this glow, and it's one of those, you know, Conrad Hall moments in, in cold blood. So we went with it. Can I be listening to the music or no? You may, yeah. Can we get black? Yeah. Yeah, we can get some, let's get some, um, you have any skull candy um, headphones? Props. Make sure we don't see the iPhone, though. I'm going to put it right there. So this looks a little garish. We're going to put the helmet here. Need some more shit back in here. This cable should be dressed in here to look like somebody who's. Yeah. And it probably should come from over in here. Um, you know what? I'm not taking these pants. You're not taking these pants. I don't know. They look kind of juicy couture. I was just going to say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They really they just feel a little. I mean, maybe it's, it's like, what if there's like boxers or something? Hey, Dishala. You need some other pants. These just look too heavily heels. Okay, I have a couple other pants. Great, there. bring them up. The waffly ones and then the smooth black ones. Which ones do you like? Uh, I like either. And pull, pull up so we just see a little bit of calves. And, you know what I mean? So it just feels. Try those ones on. Go ahead and change. These? These? Yeah. yeah. Ready and action. Yeah, I'm going to it here. Okay. And puff. We're a little soft. Go a little deeper with the focus. Cut, cut. It was a challenging shot to light in two different directions, and technically, the first day we tried to do this shot, the software didn't work out so well on the rig, and so we had to go back on another day and attempt it again. We don't want to overshoot it and then end up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we have to correct, if I understand you, the, the tilt for the previous key frame. Yep. David has worked with motion control and all kinds of uh, programmable arms and been in the effects world for so long that he has high expectations of this technology and this being not something new but something still evolving um, was put to a, a test and, it, and at the moment they didn't actually have everything they needed to make it work right so that was really the only problem. Once they came back a few days later and knew the shot we intended to do, worked out a few glitches that worked perfectly. How's that for focus? Good. Okay, good. Back to one. Here we go. <clears throat> Talk loud, okay? Okay, we will do. Okay, be puffing as we come in. Rolling, rolling. Rolling. Here we go. So you're back to one, send the camera. Okay, listening to music. Earbuds. Pulling your wires. Smoking. And thinking evil shit. 